Hello guys, welcome back to Unique Arts. I'm Costco Picasso. You can also call me Shannon if that floats your boat. That's my real name, not my made up name. <laughs> uh, today I kind of just want to talk about what the goals are for 2024, largely pertaining to this channel. So I got this idea actually from watching the, from an Erudite Adventure, which I actually realized I hadn't been subscribed to them and I only just subscribed recently. I watched some other videos in the past, but I am subscribed now, <laughs> so please forgive me, but thank you for the idea necessarily. Uh, obviously I'm a few weeks late for this, it's February, I'm a whole month late. It's already February 12th today I'm recording this, I think I'm planning on it coming out in just a couple days. And uh, I figured this might be a good idea because it's kind of properly booktube-ish to do and I'm tr trying to be more of a booktuber and that's actually one of my goals for 2024 is to be more of a booktuber. So for those of you who may not know, I've had this channel for about three years and eight months. Uh, this June will be my four, four, four year anniversary. I started it in 2020, in June of 2020, so during the pandemic. Uh, it's something I had thought about before, and I thought it was like a good way for me to uh, to learn. I have excuses to look up more stuff and learn about it, and make a video about it, and hopefully other people are also interested in learning about it, and I could have discussions and learn more along with others. And it wasn't really in line with BookTube, so I didn't. I wasn't really a part of BookTube. I joined BookTube officially about 13 months ago, January of 2023. And I've barely made any videos since then, at least in the rest of 2023, I hardly did at all, maybe two. And this year I've already been a lot more active. So that's one of my goals is uh, I want to be more active on this channel anyway. I've already published eight videos since uh, 2024 has started. And if you add my shorts, that's it's actually a dozen videos. Uh, my shorts are just poetry. It's just short poetry that I read. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Those are nice and quick. I just have to find a poem I like, but there are a lot of poems I like, so <laughs> there's that. And the reason I wasn't originally part of BookTube is because I didn't feel like I really fit that bill. I'm also not as acquainted with BookTube as I would perhaps like to be. As someone like my brother, Liam's Lyceum, he's had his channel for a couple of years, so less than me. He makes a lot more videos, is a lot more active, but he also had been watching BookTube since we were in high school, and so... He's a lot more acquainted with it, and I'm not. So that's one thing, too, is I want to start watching more booktubers. And I just want to be more properly booktube-ish as well. So doing stuff like this. And I actually started doing my monthly updates as well. I know my brother and I'm sure some other people do, like, weekly updates. I think monthly updates are pretty typical, though. And I actually published my first one, well, about eight days ago as of recording this. So I plan on doing that monthly as well and keeping that up. Perhaps also with BookTube, and this is almost a little arbitrary, but having a proper backdrop. I've never had a good like bookish backdrop, like showing on my bookshelves and stuff. I've always lived in relatively small spaces. The whole time I've had my channel, I've been married and with kids and living in smaller apartments. And I technically live in a house now, but it's a very small old house. And the bookshelves get placed wherever they can go, pretty much. And there's not really much room in my bedroom, which is where my desk is, and that's generally where I record. So, I mean, I have these decorative books that are actually hollow and just hold knickknacks inside them. And then I have this actually very small bookshelf that is a small single shelf that is on top of my chest of drawers. That has lots of my old books that I don't want my kids to touch. For the most part. Sometimes I put, like, books that I've currently reading up there as well, but not generally. Those kind of kind of just fall randomly. Do I have any? Yeah, I got two stacked right over there. Boom, boom. I have a couple on the desk here with me, but I, t I, I often am reading several books at a time. But regardless, uh, that's something I'm not too concerned about. If I could get that taken care of in 2024, I am planning on moving again this year, trying to take care of livelihood stuff. This last year was like really stressful, to put simply, I guess. 
and I currently actually have a job where I work overnight and my body does not like that at all. Uh, so I'm hoping that that job is temporary uh, and maybe only a few more months at it. That would be great. I'm very tired. But regardless, and that's in some regards why I'm trying to be more active with the channel. It kind of gives me uh, some positivity. Obviously, I get positivity from my family, interacting with my family, but this has been some... Uh, Something I've already tried to do for a while anyway, and I've not been very good at it, and not very consistent at it, and so this is just like something that I could sit my mind to as well. And uh, one thing I would like to do with that in some regards, so I got those monthly updates, but I also, and I want to watch more booktubers, like other booktubers, but also maybe do more interviews. I've actually done two interviews on my channel before, but those were two plus years ago. And I would like to do more about some authors and stuff like that. Maybe do more tags. I'm not sure exactly what other booktube tags there are out there. Uh, I've only done one, and that was the newbie tag when I first uh, transitioned over to this, I suppose. But more, maybe more of those. And overall, I kind of want... I don't, I'm not sure who I would ask to interview as far as basing on uh, that interview idea. But I'm also thinking I might get more ideas as I read books throughout this year because I also want to try to read more for entertainment. I haven't done that in a, years, to be honest. I've read just for, like, education and informing myself. And I enjoy those books. They're not always the fastest reads, though. I don't read too much relatively because of that. When I'm reading, like, you know, an 800-page book on being in nothingness by Sartre, which is actually that book right there. It takes me a while, <laughs> so, and then in the past, even like the last couple of years when I've had this channel, even if I have read stuff like that, I haven't made videos about it. <laughs> anyway, so I mean, I'm going to try to be better about that stuff on top of that. But, so I want to read, and in fact, the, the number of books I figured I'd give myself a, like a solid number to aim for, and that's 35. That's, I think that should be something I can achieve. Like, it's not going to be super easy considering my schedule and the stuff I like to read, but I think if I'm trying to read more for entertainment as well, that it will be more attainable. So we'll see. I didn't want to make some, like, give myself an impossible number or anything, but one that might be a little bit of a challenge. Last year, I probably read, was the least I've read probably ever, and I definitely did not read 35 books. So I'm trying to stretch myself a bit, and uh, so I want to read more for entertainment. I've been reading Lord of the Rings, or listening to it rather, and it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. And uh, not only just because of the, it's a great story, but I'm reading more for entertainment. And uh, I look forward to doing that more consistently throughout the year. I also want to read more philosophy, which is also why I have Being and Nothingness over there. And I have another book in front of me that's Hildebrand's Aesthetics. I... I'm in three master's programs, actually, technically. <laughs> I graduated my undergrad in very end of 2021, and I've been in graduate school since then, but I actually don't take very many courses because I can't afford it. And so hopefully I can take care of that so I can take more courses. But one of my programs is a philosophy program that I haven't taken coursework for since, like, July of 2022. And so I haven't been reading nearly as much philosophy since I haven't been taking coursework for it. And so I want to read, make sure to read some philosophy even if I'm not taking coursework. So that's one of my goals. And then I also want to write more. So I don't know if you guys would be interested in hearing about like the short stories I write or maybe just the ones I get published. I have been published before, but never for a short story. It's always been just like undergraduate academic work and, uh, I guess I wouldn't mind getting published. I've literally only written like two short stories. I've been very bad about writing for a long time. And perhaps maybe I was never good at it. <laughs> but the, uh, my, because one of my, and these are really short stories. Like one's like 800 words. I can think of one's like 3,000. And the one that was 3,000, I actually wrote like a month ago. So this year has already been a pretty good start. And I have some others that I've had, I, I have ideas for, and some that I've had ideas for for a while. And just haven't gotten to so I would like to get to those and there's a play I also have in mind that hasn't happened so that's something I would like to get to this year I don't know if I have a certain amount like that I would like to do but I have a couple in mind so maybe like that play and then maybe a couple more short stories and maybe try to get one published that'd be cool I guess I'm not exactly sure where to go about that 
but I'm sure my brother knows, and maybe if you guys have some recommendations, uh, that'd be cool, I guess. <laughs> so, I also wanted to start my own lecture series. So I actually, for those that don't know, I was an adjunct professor, if you will. I was an adjunct instructor for only about a year, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I had to do that. I don't have any graduate degrees, although I have done graduate studies. I have not earned any graduate degrees, and it was awesome. I really loved teaching, and I taught just general survey courses for the most part, and I used to stream those on Twitch and practice um, the, the, the coursework, practice the lessons, and actually, I'm happy to say that I have at least started that new like lecture series, and that's a 19th century art series. And I did the introduction just a couple days ago, and actually by the time this video comes out, I'm planning on Thursday, Wednesday night I should have streamed uh, the first real lesson on that for neoclassicism. And I plan to make that like a mini lecture series, because it should only be about 12 videos, so it'll take me about 12 weeks if I'm do streaming it once a week. So, uh, we'll see. Because after that, I might just do general survey from prehistory to contemporary times. I'm a big art history guy, but the, uh, and that's like, I have a lot of videos that are about painters, but most of that knowledge and stuff like that that I get on those videos for those artists come from reading books about them. So, I mean, I still am kind of booktubish in the sense that lots of my videos are based, most of my videos are based off books I've read, even if they're not just novels that I'm reading. So, I guess that's good enough. <laughs> but I have that lecture series. I have a couple other series I'm thinking about. There's um, one that's actually coming out just in a couple days on Saturday. And I don't know if I want to do that consistently because it feels kind of off-brand, but it's just kind of fun and I do it. It's not based off any books or anything like that. It's kind of just like a sporting uh, design comparisons. It was just kind of goofy and for fun. And it's going to be at least two videos from that because I... It kind of ended up being longer than I anticipated, so I'm splitting that first one into two parts. And I might do some more, but one I would like to do consistently is Celtic Tales. I've actually only ever done one, and it came out like seven, eight months ago on my channel. It was one of the couple videos I made last year. And I'm trying to, I'm kind of thinking maybe about doing one of those, like a Celtic Tale, uh, once a month or something like that. And, uh, because that's stuff I'm definitely interested in. But also, if you're acquainted with my channel, my uh, playlists are all like, these are all videos about paintings, sculpture, literature. Paintings and literature are my biggest ones. But then also, I have a few in sculpture, a couple of music, philosophy, and I would like to add, do more of those more consistently, I guess. I've actually, within the past week, did a philosophy one and a theater one. Uh, I don't think it'll be too difficult to get me to do those relatively consistently, but I also have one category for like the liberal arts, fine arts that I've literally never made a video for, and that's architecture. So I would like to make at least one architecture video uh, this year. I actually have something in mind, but I'd have to do some reading on it. So uh, we'll see, but there's something that uh, interests me. Architecture is not really my forte, although I enjoy it, like when it comes to Gothic architecture and stuff. But I, I'm also, Something I did last month, and it ended up being with just my brother Liam, and I invited some professors, but they, it didn't really work out, some professors that are relatively youngish and uh, that I have a good relationship with, to do like some sort of symposium to like get that, keep that academic interest going consistently, like some uh, vital thinking going on at least once a month. Uh, more intellect intellectually challenging stuff, and I'm going to try to do that every month. In fact, one of my thoughts was it would be nice if I could have that turn into a nonprofit business or something like that. I've actually had a nonprofit business before, and it did not go well thanks to some other circumstances, but regardless. And, uh, but stuffing like a society or whatever, and perhaps having like a, quor a quarterly academic journal and I think that would as long as I can get it to be non-profit because I'm not expecting anything to be profitable and I don't want to pay taxes on this stuff <laughs> so uh we'll see about that I at least need to have a couple of months success with some sort of symp symposium and intellectual discussions and uh right now it's just my brother and I because no one else can really be there consistently um but we'll see I guess because I would also, especially if I could get like a publishing branch off of that business, then it would be 
cool to also publish things that aren't just like an academic, a quarterly academic journal, like, but stuff like uh, fiction, you know, if I feel like, if we feel like publishing something like that. But we'll see. Uh, overall, though, I kind of just want to be more active on as a channel, be more booktube-ish as a channel, but also just make more videos, I guess. So if you break it down, actually, per year, what I made. Now, I was only making videos the second half of 2020, but I made nine videos. In 2021, I made 20. It was my most productive year by far. <laughs> and uh, that was my, I was doing full-time study that whole year. And then I graduated at the very end of the year. And then in 2022, I started graduate studies and I made, I made three videos. And if you count the shorts, I made five. <laughs> so it really dropped then and then pretty much stayed the same in 2023. I made four videos and then if you count shorts, it's five again. So, but this year already, like I said, I've already made a dozen videos if you count the shorts and if not eight. So I'm still doing way better already and we're only not even quite halfway through February. So I think that will be improved. I just have to, it's already going to be improved for this year. I just have to maintain it. because I would like to make sure some maintain activity throughout the whole year and uh, maybe do more collaborations with other channels and stuff like that too. I already have something like plans. I don't know, you call it a buddy read or something with my, with my brother that we'll do for his channel and probably do one afterwards for my channel. And, uh, yeah, I have stuff in mind. So we'll see how the year, year goes. And either way, I'm just grateful for whoever's watching this, uh, to be honest. If you could, please feel free to like and subscribe and comment. I really appreciate the comments too. I like to, uh, respond to people or just notice that people are bothering the comment and I could at least maybe just give it a thumbs up or whatever. But either way, I, uh, I think 2024 will be the best year for my channel yet. And I'm hoping it's a good one. It's a positive one because I really appreciate that. But I will see you guys next time. Uh, like I said, I have a video coming out in a couple days. You sh should check it out, even if it's not exactly what you might normally watch if you're part of the booktube community uh but and then i of course i will be doing those weekly lectures for the next few months at least uh for 19th century art going over neoclassicism romanticism realism pre raphaelite brotherhood impressionism post-impressionism what have you so yeah feel free to drop into those as well i have my on twitch i'm i'm costco picasso so pretty easy to find me but Regardless, I will see you guys next time and thank you for watching. Bye.